Good morning. This is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We welcome you to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. We thank God for each and every one of you. Be the evangelist of the ministry. Invite others to listen to this prayer for you don't know who has need of Jesus this morning. I believe God is going to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ask and think according to the power working in each and every one of us. This morning, I am reminded, glory to God, of a, a scripture of what God has given us a covenant in these perilous times. Hallelujah. He's given us covenant in these perilous times. In other words, you should not worry about what's going on around you. What you should be worried about is what's going on within you. Hallelujah. Psalms 84, 11 says, For the Lord God is a sun and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. We are in a time and a season that you want to be found living a life pleasing to God. We're in a season that you don't want to be found falling into the trap of sin. Listen, you there's sin and living a lifestyle of sin. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And um, what you want to do is really grow in God, your relationship with the Father, to please Him, to have the fear of the Lord. So many have lost the fear of the Lord, which brings you to wisdom. It brings you to guidance. It brings you to direction. It brings you to deliverance. The Bible says he, no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. What does it mean to, to walk upright? Hallelujah. <clears throat> what does that mean? Hallelujah. Let's, let's really look at that real quick. Hallelujah. And when he says upright, it means to ha it signifies the plainness of heart. It means that you are living a lifestyle that is pleasing to God according to his word. It means no deceit, dishonesty, uh, fraudulence, hypocrisy, pride, uh, uh, pretense, uh, insincerity. Uh, and so that means that you're doing your best to live a life that pleases God. The best way to examine where you are, no matter where you are, is to walk the walk that David walked. David was a man after God's own heart. And because of that, he was, he was called and chosen to live an upright man, lifestyle, meaning he was not perfect. He was not without blemish, but he pleased God because of his heart. And so you want to do a heart check in this season. You want to make sure that you are forgiving. You want to make sure that your heart is pure before God. You want to make sure that your hands are clean. You don't, you want to make sure that you're not being used by the devil. Hear me good, because so many are getting distracted by the rejection and brokenness. They're allowing the devil to use them. No matter how much you love God, you cannot fall prey to the destructiveness of the devil. When you are broken and when you are rejected, you allow the enemy to use you and a yielding position based upon what you're going through. It can be in your marriage. It can be in ministry. It can be through your uh, workplace. It can be in the things that you're doing in your heart and your mind and out of your mouth. But you want to live a life pleasing to God. There is covenant in the word of God concerning living upright in these perilous times. You want to be there because if you don't see all this destruction that is hitting, when you live an upright life, you have the ability to cover your house, to protect others in your loved ones that you love from harm and danger. Let me give you a couple of more scriptures. We're getting ready to pray. Luke 1 and 6, and they were both righteous before God, walking blamelessly in all the commandments and the statutes of the Lord. Uh, Proverbs 10 and 9, whoever walks in integrity walks securely, but he who makes his ways crooked will be found out. Proverbs 2 and 7, he stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He's a shield to those who walk in integrity. That means no matter what somebody does, they can lie on you. They can talk about you. They can be backbiting. They can be sabotaging you. God is going to show his hand in your life. 
In Genesis 17, 1, when Abram was 99 years old, the Lord appeared to Abram and said to him, I am God Almighty. Walk before me and be blameless. There is a lifestyle when you walk with God. You become more like him. You talk like him. You look like him. Your image changes. Your name changes. And everything about your life aligns according to the will of the Father. In Proverbs 14, 2, whoever walks in uprightness fears the Lord, but he who is devious in his ways despises him. Hallelujah, Jesus. The last one is Psalms 119, uh, verse 1. Blessed are those who walk, whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept, be kept diligently on all oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Stay in Psalms 119. This is the book David wrote concerning his walk with the Lord. He continuously asked the Lord to help him where he was weak. He continued to ask the Lord to strengthen him where he felt like he was falling short of the glory of God. And we're in a season, hear me good, that you want to live a lifestyle that is upright. A, a woman and a man of integrity, a woman and man of your word, not falling into the traps of deception because of your rejection and brokenness and your trauma. There's no uh, excuse for handling, mishandling people. There's no excuse for uh, not being able to have conversations and communicate where you are with others. It's no excuse for the things that we're seeing today. But may you be found upright with the Lord. May you be found pleasing God. May you be found living a lifestyle of integrity. I have this book. This is a powerful read. It's called Inspire Integrity, Chase an Authentic Life by Corey Cachetti. I challenge you to read that book. It will help you to grow in integrity. See, when you have a heart before God, you're searching for ways to continue to grow in your integrity and in your walk with the Lord to please him. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this day, this opportunity to dwell in your presence. Father, we decrease that you increase. We invite the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us and direct us in the way in which we need to go. Father, our ways, we want it to please you. We want to live a lifestyle that you are being glorified. We want to be able to live an upright life. And Lord, wherever we fall short of that, we ask that you begin to work in us, through us, and to us, God. Lord, if there's any pride, a hidden pride in any area of our lives, expose, reveal, and remove in the name of Jesus. If there's any unforgiveness that's hiding under the radar of the anointing, Lord, bring it up to the surface and kill it by the root in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those who are really struggling in their marriage, oh Lord God, that there is pride, there is envy, there is strife, there is jealousy, there is unforgiveness, the root that's killing their marriage. God, I pray that you uproot it now. I pray that you burn it by fire. I pray that you destroy the works of the Lord. Lord, let the love of Christ overcome their struggles, oh God. Let the love of Christ begin to overtake them now in the name of Jesus. Lord, let the love of Christ, hallelujah, give them the grace and the patience and the understanding understanding to walk in the things in which they are preparing for in their marriage. Oh God, Lord, I, you will make crooked places straight. You'll perfect everything concerning us, God. And Lord, I thank you that you have given us a covenant, God. It is established, glory to God, that if we live upright, we will be blessed in these perilous times. It is established that if we live a life pleasing to you, God, you'll continue to bless us from generation to generation. It is established, glory to God, if we uh, live a life lifestyle pleasing to you by opening our mouth and speaking in loving kindness, oh Lord God, then you'll continue to be kind to us. Glory to God. It is established. When our enemies rise up, glory to God, you will defeat them, God. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. So Lord, we're not going to carry out having the same heart as our enemies, but we will continue to show the loving kindness of Jesus. And Lord, have mercy on our enemies 
enemies. Lord, we pray for our enemies. Lord, we pray for those who despitefully use us, God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, continue to guard our hearts and keep our minds stayed upon you in times of adversity, in times of persecution, in times when we're being mistreated and mishandled, oh Lord. Even in the workplace, God, go before us, God. Level the field, oh God, that we will not be moved by the attacks of the enemy, God. And when the fiery darts uh, be formed, oh God, well, they will not prosper because we will not be used by the enemy to give a response. I hear the Lord saying, Every attack does not need a response. What you need to do is get in your prayer closet. What you need to do is stand on the word of God. What you need to do is know that it is established that vengeance is mine, said the Lord. What you need to do is trust and rely that in the midst of the adversity is growing you up spiritually. Glory to God and Lord, let us continue to grow up spiritually. Let us have the fear of the Lord, oh God, that is the beginning of wisdom, oh God, the wisdom for the fire darts, the wisdom for the attacks of the enemy, the wisdom to deal with our enemies who were once friends, the wisdom to be able to know the alliance of how the enemy would use our family in the midst of the times where you need us to show the loving kindness of you, Father, and the wisdom to know how to walk in and through t- uh, the experiences on our job, that we will not respond from the place of brokenness or trauma. Oh, glory to God, those triggers will not cause us to miss out on opportunities to grow spiritually. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, as we walk upright with you, Lord, teach us your ways and your precepts, oh God, that we can live a lifestyle pleasing to you. Lord, I pray for those who are in a lifestyle of sin, those who have secret agendas, those that are hot. I hear the Lord saying, I this is for somebody who is cheating on cheating with a married man. I hear the Lord saying, you better repent and you better turn away. You pre- repent and turn away. How can you believe God for a husband and you, you and you using being used by the enemy to take on, to destroy a covenant of marriage? How can you begin to see the harvest of a fruitful marriage and you're the one being caused to destroy a marriage? The Lord said, repent and turn from your wicked ways. Repent and cleanse your heart and mind and soul and be delivered from your rejection. Repent and get your heart right because if you don't, oh, glory to God, you cannot cover your household and you're you're living in in a lifestyle, a double life that's not pleasing to God. So I pray for you today. I pray for your deliverance. I pray in the name of Jesus that your hands are clean. Your heart is pure before God. I pray that God deliver you from your brokenness, that you think you have to have a piece of a man and not a full man. I pray in the name of Jesus that God will begin to do a work in you, that you will be used in a mighty way for the glory of God, that you can have a healthy marriage. Glory to God, that you will believe and wait on the Lord and be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just thank you, Father, that there is great deliverance upon those who are really struggling to live a life pleasing to you. I pray that in the name of Jesus, where there is condemnation for those who are living a life pleasing to you, and they think that that they have to live a perfection, a life of perfection, God, break every chain, destroy every yoke, annihilate every lie. Let not the spirit of religion to keep us bound. Let not the spirit of religion to keep us in, in idolatry. Let not the spirit of religion to keep us in foolishness. Let not the spirit of, uh, of religion keep us in condemnation. But Lord, in our intimacy with you. You will deliver us, God. You will restore us, oh God. You will revive us, oh God. You will give us guidance and direction. So we thank you, Lord, today. We are delivered from anything that's causing us to be impure, anything that's causing us to be contaminated, anything that's causing us to have a limp in our walk. Glory to God. Anything in us, God, that will cause many to fall prey to the trap of the enemy, anything in us that's being used by the devil, God, dig up the root of that thing. Burn it by fire and deliver us from the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you, Lord, that as we walk in the word of the Lord in Psalms 112, wealth and riches is in our house because we are upright. You will withhold no good thing to us because we love you. And in the name of Jesus, it is established 
that the good things that belong to us in this season is, is being released. The good things that's going to come into our marriage is being released. The good things that's going to come into our children is being released. The good things that's going to happen in our finances is being released. The good things that's going to ha- happen in our body is being released. The good things going to happen in our business is being released. The good things going to happen in our relationship is being released. The good things that's going to happen over our family is being released. So we thank you, Father God, for moving by your spirit, aligning everything according to your will, your ways, and the word. Let your name be glorified in it all. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for choosing us for such a time as this, to walk in uprightness with the fear of the Lord without being despised. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. A worker not ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Living a life that is blameless. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, that we are blessed. Hallelujah. Because we keep your testimonies. Hallelujah. Because we seek you with our whole heart. Glory to God. That we choose not to do wrong when evil is present. Glory to God. That we have walked in the commands of your word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And diligently being steadfast. Hallelujah. Lord, bless your people today. Bless them going in and out of this day. Protect us from harm and danger, God. Deliver us from anything evil. Deliver us from our enemies. Deliver us from the lies and the deception. Deliver us, God, from any false accusation, oh God. Deliver us, oh Lord God, from anything that's not of integrity. Glory to God. Lord, continue to show us the pathway in which we need to walk. In the name of Jesus, showing us the way that we will not be oppressed and we will not be in bondage and we will not be in the in the destructive manners, oh God, that in the midst of us walking with you, Father, you will deliver our children and our grandchildren because we walk in integrity and a heart of uprightness. Hallelujah. You will continue to bless our house. Thank you, Lord God. It's established that our house is blessed. Our children are blessed. Our marriage is blessed. Our finances are blessed. Our bodies are blessed. Glory to God. Our careers are blessed. Our businesses are blessed. Thank you, Lord, for the blessings of the Lord that makes us rich. And you add no sorrow to us, God. So we come against that the stress that is trying to make us worry about these perilous times. The prices of gas. Hallelujah. Prices of food. Glory to God. You supply all of our needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. So I thank you, Lord, for the surplus of food for parents who are are dealing with their children out of school. Thank you, Lord, for the increase in their finances. Thank you, Lord, for resources. Thank you, Lord, for favor. Thank you, Lord, that no child will be in lack of eating food, that they will have their supply in the name of Jesus, God, and you will get all the glory, praise, and honor. Thank you, Lord, God. It is established that you are going to bless us with good things as we do good things as we glorify your name, as we exalt you in all that we do, as you make our name great, glory to God, we'll bring your name glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us for such a time as this with favor, increase, overflow, abundance, open doors, divine connections, holy hookups, people going out of their way to bless us. We rebuke the spirit of backlash and retaliation. We cancel the wicked plots of the enemy. We renounce every covenant agreement of sickness and disease, car accidents, freak accidents, the death angel, the murdering spirit. We call this day blessed favor, increase, overflow, and abundance is our portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. We say amen, and we say hallelujah. We love you with the love of the Lord. If this ministry is a blessing to you and you would like to sow prayer seeds, go to milwaukeemovement.org, click the give button. You can also give through cash app, the dollar sign, the movement center. We call you blessed going in and out of this day. God bless you.